Friday. Okay. Skeletal muscle fiber, cross sectional view. We do the components outside and inside. Okay. Outside, the pink, the pink sarcolemma cell membrane. You can see the axon of the motor neuron surrounded by the Schwann cell. Here comes the motor neuron. Telodendria. Telodendria branches off of the end of the axon, creating the neuromuscular junction. So this darker brown elevated represents the neuromuscular junction. You have some telodendria coming off of the motor neuron. It's the same color, but it's a different structure. This is the myosatellite cell. Here's one, and here's a half of one. This doesn't have any capillaries, but we know that the capillaries would be there. Endomycium. So this covers and holds the capillaries, motor neuron, myosatellite cells in place. You go inside the organelles. So this just kind of features the organelles that are important for the muscle cell. Myofibrils, right? These cylinders are myofibrils. Contractile unit of the muscle cell. It's made up of thin and thick myofilaments, right? Arranged in sarcomeres. Every myofibril is covered in sarcoplasmic reticulum, this kind of Swiss cheese looking structure. Wraps around every myofibril. Blue, T-tubules. T-tubules are a network of microscopic tubes that connect the membrane, sarcolemma, to the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Purpose is when the motor neuron drops off the signal, what is the action potential, to the neuromuscular junction, and that's basically the sarcolemma. That's where it's dropped off. T-tubule brings the action potential down to each sarcoplasmic reticulum. Sarcoplasmic reticulum releases the calcium. The calcium then interacts with the proteins of the myofibrils. Muscles contract. Mitochondria in red make the ATP for muscle contraction. You have one nucleus, you're in purple. Skeletal muscle fiber.